Taxi driver is for some reason playing La Bouche on the radio. <laughs> it's nice, right? <laughs> it's a very 90s feeling. We are on our way to the former presidential home of a former president of Ukraine. Why am I blanking on his name? Yanukovych. <laughs> Okay, so most people would be totally cool with me forgetting the name of the former president, but Christina is uh, Miss Ukraine, uh, 2004 through 2013, and uh, she makes sure that I am fully on my toes when it comes to Ukrainian politics. Let's pause this for a sec. Unlike my friend Christina, who is an expert in all things Ukrainian, I'm gonna run through the history of Ukrainian politics very quickly. I know that a lot of people are still a little bit confused because the names are super complicated and super long. So you wanna talk about Ukrainian presidents? Let's talk about Ukrainian presidents. Now you wanna talk about reading? Let's talk about reading. Ukraine used to be part of the Soviet Union. When the Soviet Union dissolved in 1992, Ukraine became an independent country. Yeah, Ukraine. The first president of Ukraine was a guy by the name of Kravchuk. Three things to know about Kravchuk. One, corrupt. Second, he had really oatmeal eyebrows. Look him up, it's not a very pretty sight. Third, Soviet as fuck. Kravchuk was the head of Ukraine when it was still part of the Soviet Union. Kuchma, second up to bat. Three things to know about Kuchma. One, corrupt. Second, hated the press. Third, kind of looks like a Keebler elf. So when he wasn't killing journalists, he was probably making cookies and treats. Third guy up to bat is Yushchenko. Three things to know about him. First, corrupt. Second and third, because it's such a big deal, was poisoned with Agent Orange chemicals that resulted in physical deformities. After Yushchenko, we come to Yanukovych, who is the builder of Mezhigorya. There are three things that you need to know about him. The first thing you should know is that, like all of his predecessors, Yanukovych was also extremely corrupt. Yanukovych builds Mezhigorya, a complex which cost about $75 million during a time when the average Ukrainian citizen was making less than $100 a month. So, second, he was really good friends with Russia. Third, Yanukovych was eventually deposed from power as a result of Maidan. After Yanukovych comes Poroshenko, who is the current president of Ukraine and is the owner of Roshen Chocolates. He's basically a Willy Wonka president. And so now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. So for those of you who don't know who Yanukovych was, Yanukovych was the former president of Ukraine, forced out of power, and is currently residing somewhere in... Russia. He's somewhere. He's over there with Putin. They drinking vodka. They're like wrestling tigers. They're doing that kind of shit. If Yanukovych were a Spice Girl, which Spice Girl would he be? The blonde one. The main one. A Posh Spice. <laughs> Is that Posh Spice? Baby Spice. Yeah, Baby Spice. He'd be Baby Spice. I like it. If Yanukovych were a 90s sitcom, which 90s sitcom would he be? I don't know. Okay, Christina was raised by poets <laughs> somewhere in the in the woods of Vermont. <laughs> she doesn't know anything about TV or music or anything. Wait, maybe but uh, like Full House. Full House. Full House. He had, like a family that he oh, like, you did. took care of mm -hmm. and gave him all their things. Yeah, his catchphrase was "You got it." Dude. <laughs> That's what he used to say. So we're about to go there right now. Um. It is uh, in the suburbs of Kiev, and uh, I will be showing you footage from there. Ukrainians live. Wow, these are. I guess I've just never seen this sort of. Wow. Oh wow! Music here. Официальные резиденции, юридически заверенная часть. Как Янукович говорил, я продав квартиру в Донецьку, купив маленьку хатинку. I'm gonna level with everyone. It was super fucking cold the day that Christina and I decided to do this, and so I really did not have the energy to open my mouth and narrate. Uh, but our very excited guide 
who is showing us the grounds, is basically talking to us about the layout of the Yanukovych compound. To the right, this is his unofficial residence that he resided in. He said the electrical fence doesn't work. Okay. But because it's not turned on. But that they don't tell anybody that because it keeps people away. Okay. So this is the Kiev Sea. Oh shit, I said it on camera. Not everyone's gonna know. Okay, this is the Kiev Sea. We are at the complex of the former president of Ukraine, Yanukovych. And this shit is insane. This is like Michael Jackson Neverland status. This is a boat that he made into a private restaurant. This isn't like his house. Like his house is like over there. And it's like one of his houses. And then he has private access to the Kiev Sea. The crazy thing is that I didn't even know there was a Kiev Sea. And it's huge. And I think the reason why we don't know that this exists is because it was closed off. And uh, over here, this is an electrical fence that he had placed in order to uh, keep people from coming in. Um, and that's it. So I will be shooting soon when we get up to the actual house. Uh, there's also a zoo on the premises. On the premises. On the premises, right? Premises. Yeah. There's a zoo on the premises and we'll be looking at that as well. So yeah. It's fucking cold okay, as shit. So Christina and I are taking a break from our tour of Yanukovych's palatial house slash residence. Um, Christina, there is a very famous saying in the United States that we have. It goes, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> when thinking about this classic American expression, how does it make you feel about Yanukovych and his ability to be able to create this palace in Ukraine? I'm not sure because I think maybe he changed the game. <laughs> So, okay, I, I've never thought about that before. So you can kind of hate the player in this instance, right? Because he changed the game. Deep thoughts over Glintwein in Ukraine. Uh, next up, we're going to be seeing the actual house of Yanukovych. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, we are entering onto the property of Putin's home. Uh, this is a private residence on the uh, territory of Yanukovych that uh, is where Russian heads of state were housed while visiting his residence. Uh, Putin, unfortunately, never stayed here very long. Uh, Putin is more of an NSA type lover. Um, he is not looking for strings attached. Uh, he wants to, how you say, blow and go. One more cut. For the rest of the clip, I'm going to be showing parts of the actual mansion, the $75 million mansion that he built, with some descriptive text to explain what we're seeing. Important to note, this is not the only complex that exists like this in this part of the world. Yanukovych was known for having several complexes, several residences in Ukraine. Many of the leaders of the former Soviet countries also live like this. This is something that exists all throughout the Commonwealth of Independent States, which are the former Soviet countries. So, enjoy. На всей документации, когда он по территории ходил, то он мог бросать в один, тут животные себя собой не чувствовали, не перепрыгивали. Но реально, когда ты не произошли, мог продолжать на вами. Сюдой каждый день он бы не переходил, но и сюдой каждый день возилась еда. The floors are nice, though. This is expensive. This is like multiple. Yeah. See, look at this over here. I mean, that shit. That costs some coins. I think there's just enough. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> Заедно любасом, 
Например, есть три вида людей, которым не удивительно тут ничего. Это с арабских стран. Вес люстры тона 250. За покрытие по документам пишет, заплатили 200 тысяч евро. Стекло на люстре с воровским. Тут тоже потолки, стены, инкрустация, диванский кет. По документам пишет, что... Полина, нет такого, когда у нас все деньги. Это ее гардеробная, это ее ванная комната. Идемте, это все пойдет по кругу, мы сейчас сюда вернемся назад, пойдем это все по кругу. All right, Christina, it's been a week since our trip to Mijigorje. Um, in that time, we've had time to reflect on our experiences, on what we saw, etc. What is your message to Yanukovych? You're never coming back. Ooh. So here done. Done. In the words of Michelle from Full House, if you ever come back to Ukraine, you're in big trouble, dude. So... Um, yeah. Stall and say like and subscribe.